What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. And today I'm be showing you guys a Nike Air Presto. What the? Now before I get into the video, I just wanna say thank you guys for the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going when I see you guys liking my content. Also, it lets me know I'm in the right direction. I'm showing you guys what you wanna see. If you're new to the channel, I just wanna say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, you guys would've knew this video was coming a long time ago. If you guys would've follow me on Instagram, at Davis, and I also got a video playing in the back of me in 4K, if you guys wanna check that out after this video. But let's get right into it, man. Uh, Packers, look me out today this morning i got the air presto what the right here and i got some eric emmanuel shorts right here to my left um i really love how they handle things in the morning basically if you're camping outside with the chairs out there around 10 10 30 is they come outside and say hey just move the chairs out the way you can get the line straightened up and they tell you to line up against the wall and they give you number tickets basically the number tickets basically keeps you in your line order so let's say like normally when people give out tickets they're like all right i got a ticket i could just get back in my car do whatever i gotta do move away from the glass and that's it but here it's like hey we want to keep the temper the tickets numbered and so then no way somebody can get in front of you because if somebody gets in front of you without the ticket ahead of you they'll actually stop the line and say hey where's this ticket number at and then once that person gets their stuff the line will resume if y'all want the opportunity to buy a second short, you must buy the full fit of that first one. So short, hat, teeth. Then we're gonna give you another ticket with a second on it, so you can copy a second short. Uh, as far as the teaser and the shorts? Yeah. As long as you buy one of each item, then we'll give you the second ticket. You got to, unfortunately, you got to get to the back of the line just to keep it fair for everybody that's there. And then when y'all come back in, y'all can get your second short. Might not be your size, but it's a second short. Sound fair to everybody? All right, so we're going to, to keep it organized. So I love how they handle things there at Packers. It's one of the best boutiques in North Jersey. So if you guys haven't checked them out already, make sure you guys check them out. I'll leave their Instagram right here above. I have the air press over right here in front of me. Um, the box is just brown, and then it's like a strip of black crossing it off, and then it's in like a grayish brown. And on the front, it says Nike Alpha Project. And also on the back, if you do look at my sizing tag there, it does say medium, it's not an actual size. Retail on this is 130. And the reason because of that is when they first started making these shoes and whatnot, they was making it a small, medium, large, and XL. So if you had a pair of these and you had got a size, um, you might be wondering, damn, what size do I get? So when you open up the box here, they threw a sticker right there telling you about the whole shoe and basically what the materials is and how the shoe is supposed to feel and also how the sizing works. So I love how Alpha Projects and Nike does that. Um, I wish they would do that on all, you know, Nike shoes and Jordan products because it's just really dope to see what the shoe is made about and you know what I mean? Just, I don't know. I really want to know the story behind the shoe. So that's really dope, even though that's why I'm here to tell you guys about the story about the shoe. I just love how, you know what I mean? They just give you like a brief story and things like that. But if you guys want to look at this picture uh, or take a picture of it or freeze it for a few seconds, you guys can do that. But yeah, let's get right into the shoe. Let's get some regular tissue paper in here, take out the shoes. And uh, these shoes are just fire in my opinion. Um, the weight on these are pretty light. You know, this is a, supposed to be a running shoe, but you can wear it as a lifestyle shoe, in my opinion. So uh, let's start off with the bottom of the shoe. So we get two different types of rubbers here on the bottom of the shoe, where you see the black rubber that's called BRS 1000. And that's like mainly rubber up here. But then when you see this colored rubber, it's called Duralon and Duralon is rubber and foam mixed together so if you actually run your hands through this rubber and run your hands through that black rubber you'll actually feel the difference but since this is a running shoe they want it like your feet to be able to feel to have low impact when you're like you know running on your tippy toes and whatnot i run on my tippy toes some people run on their whole foot but anyway that's what that's about um and the colors on the bottom of the shoe is black orange like a mint greenish blue up there all right and then we get our air and black down there 
All right, now coming to the sole of the shoe, it's in a furlong too. All right, so if you see the flexibility in the front of the shoe, you know what I mean? It's really comfortable and you got a lot of flexibility up there. Um, but if you look at the back part of the sole, see how like a half and half. So mainly the shoe is in one and then we get this little rubber right here, the black rubber with the white sole right there. So that's like a different, you know what I mean? Sole of the shoe. And they wanted that to be like a compression. So you can't see it here, but when I put the shoe on, you know what I mean? They want to separate that right there. All right, so that's pretty dope to see. But going around the midsole here, it's an orange. And then we get a red swoosh right there on the outside. On the inside, we get a white swoosh. Then we get a blue cage. On the outside, we get like a gray cage. All right, now coming to the front of the shoe, we get like a clearish black mud guard right there. And then on the top of the shoe, which is the top and pretty much the whole shoe, comes in a neoprene. So on the front of the shoe here, we get a black neoprene with some purple, blue, and some white lightning strikes. All right, with the swoosh being white. Coming up to the tongue, it's in blue, and it's like a transparent Nike up there, like a black and grayish color, which is pretty fire in my opinion. Looking at the laces, we get some white laces on the right pair. We don't get any extra laces on these, but the tips are in like an orange and like that mint green. And it says, on the laces it says, Presto and Happiness. So that's pretty dope in black. So that's pretty fire in my opinion. All right, now coming to the back of the shoe here, it's in like a goldish brown. And on the inside of the wing, it says Presto. And on the back of the shoe, it says Nike Air Translucent. And it's in white stitching, the Nike Air. All right, so that's pretty fire in my opinion. On the inside of the shoe, it's mainly yellow mesh. So that's mesh on the inside and not neoprene. And it's like a white on the inside as well. And on the insole, it's white and it has the sizing, I'm guessing, which means medium in black so that's pretty fire now going to the left shoe it's the same thing about the sole we get the rubber right there and then we get the door line at the top which is, again is rubber and foam mixed together all right so that's pretty fire that's the bottom of the sole there then going around the midsole it's all in white and then on the outside we get a blue jump man and on the inside we get a black jump man Now coming to the front of the mud guard here, it's in like an orange. And then on the top, again, is that neoprene material. Then we get like an orange swoosh. Coming up to the tongue is white and gray, which is pretty dope. And then we get a yellow translucent Nike symbol up there as well. On the laces is black on these. Again, we don't get any extra pair of laces. And they're like red and blue on the tips, presto happiness on there so that's pretty dope once again on the inside of the shoe we get some orange mesh and a little bit of red down there as well and on the inside it's black and it has a nike symbol in there i don't know what that logo is but it is in white all right now coming back to the cage on this one the blue cage with the black swoosh once again yellow with the blue swoosh on the outside coming to the back of the shoe we get like that mint green on the back and then it's translucent and then through it you can see the nike air in red also on the outside of the left shoe wing it says presto there and then on the pull tabs on both shoes it's like white clearish with a gray strip going down it which is pretty fire in my opinion. Um, I really do like these shoes a lot. Um, they're pretty lightweight, perfect for running shoes. If you don't have a pair, retailing this is 130. Um, I don't see resale being too high on these, but it's just really a dope shoe to have in your collection in my opinion. I'm gonna throw these on feet for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love and stay tuned.